is a very, very good morning to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. Ten minutes past eleven in the morning. The morning of the 11th of October, 2021. Never a dull moment. Nothing gets past me, of course. And what I thought I'd do, this is something of an experiment. We're popping up on TikTok Live, and we're also popping up on YouTube, and we're popping up on Facebook, and we're popping up on Twitch with a morning phone-in. So obviously, I'll be on with the regular phone-in tonight at 9 o'clock. But I wanted to pop up and say hi. Beautiful Logan says, morning, Scotty. Good morning, beautiful Logan. Hello, Scotty, says DJ. Hello, Scotty, how are you? Dinky-doo, la hoob. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo to you. Fantastic stuff. Scottish TikToker, good morning to you. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to our Monday pop-up. Just a wee experiment to see how it goes if you want to phone in, then you know that you can phone in as well for a bit of a chit-chat. I'll just check that the phones are working okay. I might have to move the TikTokers along a little bit just to get to the telephones. There we are, fantastic, and see what's happening. So that's the phones all set up. There we are, and that allows people to phone in if you want to. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scotty. Go ahead there first. It's Kareem. Kareem, how amazing are you? Now, Kareem, I hope you don't mind. I know we said the next phone in was Monday night, but uh, I thought we'll try an experiment. Yes. Well, I think it's a good idea, Scotty. Different people, different times. Yes, do you remember we did this once before and it was highly successful? Yes, always are, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. You know, and I, I think... The phone-in is taking on a life of its own now, Kareem. Yes, it's definitely taking off. And um, I'm interested to see if any Americans from TikTok phone in. I would love the Americans to phone in. They probably don't recognize the number. It will look a bit strange to them, the same as an American number does to us. Yes, but very easy to dial, to get through, and have a wee chat-chat. It shouldn't be a problem, and it's so lovely to hear you. How is your holiday going? I'm fine, Scotty. I'm really home now, just driving back. All right, wonderful. So you just made a weekend of it. A nice weekend, down on Friday, back today. I thought, you might be, I thought you might be staying for the week. No, no, Scotty. I've got a lot of other things to do. At of home, course. So it was nice to break. You're a busy man, and so lovely to hear you. And thanks for calling in, Kareem. Have a safe journey. Tonight, yes, we'll tonight. catch up tonight. Looking forward to it. Dinky do. <laughs> Fantastic. What a super lad. That's uh, our Kareem. So there we are. And uh, lovely. He's been on holiday and he's just letting us know that that's him on his way back. How amazing is that? Now, who have we got here? Lovely message. Hello, Scotty from Kareem. Good morning from Colin McCall. Thomas says, good morning, pal. All right, Scotty says, Richie. Hi, Scotty says, Susan Shaw. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo. This is just purely an experiment this morning, popping up with the phone-in to see if anybody wants a wee chat in the morning and let us know how are things going because the nighttime phone-ins are growing beautifully. We love it. Good morning, Scotty. Hello. Hello, John UK. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Thomas, on the TikTok. Scottish TikTokers, good morning, Scotty. Thoughts on people who queued up for petrol? Well, pure souls. Poor souls having to queue up for petrol. You know, they need to get all this organized. The government need to get their act together. This Brexit thing has caused untold damage. And, uh, you know, they got all the Alf Garnets and the, um, uh, the, the xenophobes and everybody to vote for Brexit. And, of course, it's proved a shambles. It was just protecting the wealthy from paying their tax. So there you go. So if you like that concept... Then you carry on. Good morning, everybody. Hello, good morning, Scotty. Uh, good morning, Scotty, from Faye in Clydebank. Stephen. Oh, no, Faye, Cl Faye Clydebank. Sorry. Morning, Faye Clydebank. I thought it was from Faye because you put a capital letter. Morning, all. 
So there we are. Earlier today, I fell off my feet. You mustn't fall off your feet, Gunders. Bottle, uh, Boris needs to get his finger out, says Lahoop. Absolutely, Lahoop. Yes, or we'll all come over and live in Ireland under the Taoiseach. Captain Bordzai, is that you? It is. You should, you should smell my fish fingers. Fantastic. Lovely. Right. Come and join us as soon as you can. That's uh, Susan talking to Karim. Hello from Kilcatton Bay in the Isle of Butte. Visit. I love Kilcatton Bay. What is the little church right down on the very south of the island? Little ruined abbey. Beautiful. There we are. I can remember going there. I can remember going to Rothsey Castle. I haven't seen Round Mount Stuart, but the day my uh, girlfriend and I drove into, we drove into Mount Stuart was exactly the time that the Marquis, before the last one, passed away. John Butte, lovely man. I've had coffee, yummy mummy, St. Blaine's Chapel. Right, St. Blaine, lovely stuff. Mary Hill loves Scotty. Scotty loves Mary Hill, Thomas. Dinky-doo to Mary Hill, I say, to the Duncruen, and uh, to the barracks, to the Wineford, to the Shakespeare Street. We love it. Dinky-doo, I say. Hotspur Street. What about that? Mary Hill Road. The Gas Pipe Road. We love it. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very, very important. Get following on TikTok. There's brilliant TikTok videos for you. On YouTube, please subscribe and tap the bell. I'm watching for you. Then you'll get your notifications for the phone-ins, Monday to Thursday, 9 o'clock, and then Friday and Saturday, 10 o'clock. Never a dull moment with Scotty McClure. Scotty is better than, and he mentions a fast food place on match day. Falkirk loves you. We love Falkirk as a calendar park. What about that? Lime Rig was the village I was trying to think about, and somebody helped me the other day with Lime Rig. Hi, Susan, driving home just now, says Kareem. Excellent stuff. Do come and join us, guys. Welcome to the phone in. If you want to give us a call, you're very welcome. Here we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's me, myself, and I. Numpty, what are you doing up at this time in the morning? It's only 18 minutes past 11. Well, my phone went off, telling me you were on. Ah, your phone went off, and obviously the Doug's gone off as well. Oh, he's on gardening duty, Scotty. He's on gardening duty or guard duty. Guard Doug. He's a guard Doug. So he was letting you know that your favourite person is on the internet. Oh, he's, he's gone daft because he's, he's listening to you, Tess, He's now letting me know that my aye. favourite person's on the internet too. Aye. So I'm aye, talking aye. to you, Numpteed, so it's you and I, and there's no aye. drink involved today, so you'll have to think. Ha-ha, <laughs> well, listen, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd let you in on a wee secret, Scotty. You've just had a dram. No, no, listen, <laughs> uh, I've got my people to get in touch with your people last week. Ken. And, and, and they left a different name by mistake in the donation. Thing. I think, right, so that donation's from you. Aye. Ken. You're very, very kind, Numpty Heed, but please never, ever feel obliged, because if I get 100 angels at £7.50, we're on with the next step. And I'm you've already well. been, I think, half a dozen angels. No, wait a minute. You've been, you've been sixteen angels by my calculations. Well, listen. At least you're sixteen steps closer. We're sixteen big steps closer. But that doesn't mean I'm going to put up with any of your nonsense on the phones. Well, listen. I've not gave you cheek for a long time. Not for too long. Yes, you need to give me a bit of cheek. I think. Things will have to change in the future. I think they'll have to change. We can't get by with need Oh, Ken, okay. because there's all banter, you know. Banter, banter, not to eat banter. And are you oh, back yeah. for your holy bags? No, I'm, I'm, I'm still in here. The dog's out in the deck and Danny's guard dug you. He's Danny's guard dug. He's keeping all the strangers away. He's going hats off, strangers. 
I'm not wanting to disturb Scotty's on, you see. Ken, now, can you tell me where that phrase comes from? Hats off strangers. No, but I could look it up. You'd better. Right, I shall expect you to be looking that up at some point and reporting back to me where it comes from. Aye, sir. Because I like to complete your education. Right, what's the saying again, Scotty? Hats off strangers. Hats off strangers? Yes, and that's well, announced by a very important person. He goes, well, hats well, off strangers. Well, it wasn't me, because I never got strangers at the door. And no, the absolutely, yes, you don't bother with strangers. They're the only ones that come to my door with hats on. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll right, tell you. Nupti, you take care of your dear self and dinky do. Right, yeah, thank and you do thank you again. You're very welcome. You're wonderful, man. There we are. That's mm -hmm. Nupti. Uh, what we've done, guys, we've set up the internet phone in. Now we're up and running, we're in business, and we're moving into our sixth, not easy to say, sixth week. And um, there is no requirement for any money ever to change hands. Scotty McClue is free at the point of delivery. So just you enjoy it. However, if you are feeling flush, I'm looking for 100 angels at £7.50 to deliver the next piece of equipment. And uh, there's a paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. There's a, a GoFundMe. Uh, and uh, gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue see the difference but you can look up the gofundme and it's there both are entirely secure and if anybody's feeling flush then a wee seven pound fifty or a pound uh, thank you good morning to scotty you legend of a person thank you scotty for being you i love watching your lives thank you so much the science of embryology says life begins at conception. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. That's why it's called conception. Ireland loves you, Scotty McClue. I love Ireland and I love you, Lahoub. Where are you from? I'm from the west of Scotland. Beautiful Logan says, I'm so scared to ring you, honestly. Beautiful Logan, never be scared to ring. Dial the number, I'll take your call and we'll chat and then you'll never be scared again. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. If you're on TikTok, get following. If you're on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell, and then you'll get notifications for the phone-in. The phone-in goes out every Monday to Thursday, 9 p.m. at night, UK time, and then on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 o'clock UK time. The clocks will soon change from uh, Daylight Saving Time, DST, or British Summer Time, BST, and go back to Greenwich Mean Time, GMT. All right, that'll be happening soon. How are you this morning, Skid? We're fantastic. Thank you. Scotty Dinky Doo from Ray Rowan. Dinky Doo Ray. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, a very, very good morning to everybody. If you've just joined us, follow me on TikTok. Very, very important. Now then, who else have we got here? Scotty, it's Suzanne. I'm not sure how to work this Twitch. Suzanne, that's wonderful. Just share it. Scotty underscore McClue. Follow me on Twitch. Share all the Twitches with your Twitchers, and we are laughing. Scotty, you've confused me, says Big Daddy, going live in the morning. You're much better than the lecturer I'm listening to. Oh, Big Daddy, I'll come and lecture to you. Scotty McClue has done university lecturing. I'm a tertiary, a tertiary, a higher education lecturer. If anybody wants a lecture, then they'll certainly get one. I can tell you. Right, there we go. No problem at all. And we make sure we don't drone on in any monotones. You have to be absolutely aware and alive every second of the lecture because you might get asked or picked. So there's no sleeping up the back of the lecture hall and there's nobody going, I can't hear Scotty McClure. Dinky do. Uh, can you like all my TikTok videos, please, and share them? Um, follow us here. Jeez, oh, what a blast from the past, says Paula. Paula, lovely to have you with us. Paula Pineapple, Scotty McClue. 
Yes, coming up to my 30th year in June. Ooh, what about that? The wonderful Alex Robertson, one of Scotland's finest actors. Good morning, Scotty. I'm off to play the Dame at Falkirk this Christmas in Beauty and the Beast. You will be outstanding, Alex Robertson. Have you got your striped stockings? Unmatching, of course. Your bustle. The big red cheeks. Yes, you and I would make excellent ugly sisters, although you're better looking than me. Yes, I, I once had a call from a theatre, and um, it was uh, somebody had taken ill in the pantomime. So I phoned, I said, what's the part? They said, it's one of the ugly sisters. I said, well, I'm halfway there. Fantastic. Thank you, do, everybody. Lovely to have you all with us this morning. A very good morning to you. If you've just joined us, this is a massive experiment. Normally, obviously, the phone-in goes out from 9 o'clock till 10 o'clock, Monday to Thursday, and from 10 till 11, Friday and Saturday. It's very, very, very successful. And for that, I thank you. And I thank you every day who's popped something in PayPal or GoFundMe. So much appreciated. Dinky do, I say to you. Uh, wonderful stuff. Come and give us your chat on the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you've subscribed and tapped the bell. And have you shared it? I think you need to get sharing. Uh, ah, that would be brilliant. I can, can imagine it. You and I as ugly sisters. The audiences would be huge, Alex. It would be a scream. Because you and I would work out all these wee routines. Then we'd get the clout done. Are you familiar with the clout, Alex? <laughs> Do you get the clout done where you are? Where are you from, says Harry? I am from the universe, Harry, from TikTok, from YouTube, from Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. I need to get more people on Twitch. Last week we had two people following. Now we've got 92. That's rather good, isn't it? But everybody should follow on Twitch. There shouldn't be anybody on social media at all who's not following Scotty McClue. See my double negatives there. There shouldn't be anybody or anyone on the whole of social media who doesn't follow Scotty McClue because you've got no excuse not to. See, true. It's true. You're off your rocker, says love ma. Love ma. It takes one to know one. You've been off your rocker for years. You're just recognizing an off-the-rocker pal. Of course, I don't know if Falkirk have the clout. We did it at the Kings in Glasgow. Shall we get the clout done? I think my half of the audience, from there, sorry, madam, to there, right? I think you're the best singers. Now, I think his half of the audience might be okay. What do we think, boys and girls? Yes! Excellent stuff. And then Alex goes, I think my half of the audience from there, sorry, sir, I think that we'll be the best singers. What do you think, boys and girls? Yes! Oh, Alex, I, oh, I think my half shouted the loudest. Oh, no, 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 Scotty. <laughs> what do we think? Suzanne says, I'm on Twitch. Suzanne, you've just sent me a quid. You are an angel. Suzanne has tapped the dollar at the bottom of the YouTube chat and sent me a quid. That is very welcome. Thank you, Suzanne. You're very kind. Scotty, are you having the world leaders round for a cuppa during COP26? Well, I would imagine they'd all want a what with Scotty McClue to get my input, you see? What's the point in COP26 without Scotty McClue's input? There we are. We will see what is what, I say. Uh, but it will be a busy time. The only thing is, in Glasgow, we're going to have to watch our P's and Q's because they'll be shutting the roads. So there we are. So we'll be going, oh, for goodness sake. We'll not be able to get here and there. Uh, well, I think I am. I think you're on Twitch, Suzanne. Suzanne, are you watching on Twitch? Scotty underscore McClue. And have you shared it with your fellow Twitchers? Because we need to get all these figures up. Uh, Dinky-doo. 
It, no, 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 not me. It's Susan Shaw. No, I, that's what I said, Susan. Susan Shaw has sent a quid, but she's on Twitch, or are you? Susan Shaw says, it was me, Susan, who sent you it. All right, sent me. What, the link to Twitch or the quid? How are you, Suzanne? I'll tell you who sent the quid. I shall look back and we'll put a stop to all this. Susan Shaw sent one great British pound via clicking the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat. Love Ma has sent me a gorgeous red rose. I thank you, Love Ma. Good morning, everybody. Good morning from Bathgate. Care her out in the field. What are you doing in the field when you should be inside caring? There we are. I think you're after an MBE for being outstanding in the field. Yes, that's what I think. There we go. Now, Scotty, dink you do. <laughs> it was me, Susan, who said, I know, I've just looked back. Yes, I'm on Twitch, says Susie Mack. So we've got three Susies. We've got Suzanne, Susan Shaw, and Susie Mack. No wonder we're all confused. Yes, I'm on Twitch, but I was on YouTube as well. Susie Mack, brilliant. Well, could you follow me on Twitch? So there we are. Scotty, how much freedom of speech do radio presenters have nowadays? Do producers monitor what they say? Like bring back the days when McClure is untamable. Big Daddy, McClure knew best and still does know best. There are certain things I probably can't say now, but we can adjust them for today's audience. You see? So I can come out with quite a lot of stuff because I know what I'm talking about. But we have to be a little careful on the internet because the platforms might be a little bit sensitive. So they don't want a showing up. It took me a while on new platforms for them to get used to me. There we are. Hope you're feeling better soon, Suzanne, says Susan Shaw. Suzanne says, not feeling too good today, Susan, but I'll get better. Suzanne, I just adore you. I love your optimism. That's the way to live. Right, Scotty for Prime Minister. Well, do you know, love ma, I don't like to blow my own trumpet, as you well know, but I think I would probably do quite a good job at the moment. There we are. Morning, still buzzing from Saturday night at Hamden. Yes, sir, and Jenny, you'll still be buzzing from the Scotty McClue phone-in on the internet. Everybody's buzzing. Yeah, I will. You take care, Angel. Fantastic. Thank you for the quid. I say, so you must have tapped the dollar at the bottom of the YouTube chat. Am I correct? Thank you for joining us. This is an experiment this morning, by the way. We're not really on till nine o'clock tonight, but I thought we'll pop up. If you like it, we might do it this morning during the week. See what you think. We might need you over here in Ireland, Scotty. I think, Lahub, would you need me uh, down in the dial? Or uh, do you think they need me up at Hillsborough? <laughs> we'll see what's what. You know, have toothbrush, will travel. That's what I say. Scotty McClure, do you think I should go into the politics or do you think we should leave it alone? Uh, I, I know the first thing that would happen if I went into Westminster, the chief whip would get a hold of me and he would say, now then, Scotty, here's how it works. You shut your mouth. And you spoke when spoken to. You speak when spoken to. That's what they'd be saying to me. I can't tell you. Yes, you will. You'll get well, Suzanne, because we are sending you love. We are sending you strength. All the love and strength in the world. There we are. Fantastic. Dink you do. Tell me if you think Scotty McClure should go into politics, become a Mike Papa. <laughs> Bruni has just joined us Lovely to have you with us on TikTok, Bruni And a very dinky do to you Tremendous stuff, lovely, lovely, lovely I think the TikTokers are all up there With the YouTubers and the Twitchers Now if you're watching and you've got a Twitch account Get yourself on to Scotty underscore McClue Share everything you can get your eyes on You can feast your eyes on there we are. And follow me. Uh, now, what have we got? I was making my Christmas card this morning, Suzanne. 
Excellent. Already you make them yourselves, Susan. Yes. Wonderful. So there, are Susan making Christmas cards. Do you do decoupage? I've got some decoupage. Wonderful. Ooh. Just give myself a wee mop doing there. It's roasting in this studio. Up in the dial, I would say. You look like Captain Bob's eye. Toby, thank you. That's original. You should smell my face fingers. Wonderful. There we are. Do enjoy. Yes, I do. Everybody's having a wee chat with each other on the chat. We like that. Nothing wrong with it at all. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you wonder what on earth you're watching, you're watching Scotty McClue with the internet phone in. An experiment, a pop-up, a morning call, just to say hi. Thank you very much. Paul has just joined us. Paul H. Dinky Doo, follow us as soon as you join. René, René Pen, bonjour René, ça va? Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite, si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends. Yes, I do, Scotty, you do découpage. That would be lovely, a bit of découpage. You can't beat it, I say. Hi, says René. Hi, René. It's lovely to have you with us. Are you from France? Yes. Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Fantastic. Why are talented? Do you sell them online? Says Suzanne. There you are. Susan, you've got a customer. Fantastic. What a lovely beard. I thank you, René. You say such lovely things. Belle, belle. Lovely, lovely. This is what we like. Now, uh, no, she doesn't sell them. So there you are. So you're out of luck. But she might make you one and send you it. That would be rather nice, wouldn't it, I say. Uh, fantastic. If you've just joined us on TikTok, welcome, welcome. So good to have you with us. Follow us. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. We must, must, must start getting these figures up. We're into our sixth, sixth, not easy to say, sixth week. Wonderful. Uh, just sell to my friends and family, says Susan. Ah, I thought you were apolitical, says Dave Deprave. I am apolitical, Dave. Can you not go into Parliament and be apolitical? There are lots of them in there that are, I think. <laughs> they just go with the flow. When did you ever see a strong opposition to what we've got? So there we are. I think you could be apolitical. It could be an independent. Wonderful. Ah, okay. I see. Tremendous stuff. Now then. Look at this. We've got lots and lots of good chat going on here. There's a lovely announcement coming up for you. Can you see that, Scotty? How much freedom of speech do presenters have nowadays? Isn't that lovely? We love it. There you go. And then I shall press back and get you this one. There you are. There it comes up again, you see. Isn't that lovely? And I can put your announcements up if you want them up. Good morning, Scotty. Big Kev working in the wind farm in the North Sea. Scottish Kev. All I can do is very humbly thank you for the wonderful work you do jumping onto wind farms in the North Sea. I bet you it's pretty wild. What's your highest wave that you've made the attempt Six feet, eight feet. Morning, Scott A. Dinky do. We love it. And thank you for keeping the lights on, Kev. What do you work as, says John? Television, radio, online, education, TikTok, YouTube, uh, newspapers. Well, I don't do so much with the newspapers because nobody's reading them now, so we don't bother with them, really. But when I say nobody, hardly anybody. I can remember working for newspapers when there was a war on. Brilliant. We loved it. And I don't mean a world war. I mean a war between two papers for circulation wars. These were the days. That's what you need in business, guys. That's when the world's working well, when you've got a very strong government and an almost even stronger opposition. Not sure, Scotty. The sun's out. Got my shorts on, but it's a bit cold. Scottish Kev. You're very brave. Jared says, stop rambling. Jared, you need to start listening. Scotty McClue has never rambled in his life, ever. Never, ever, ever rambled. Every time I speak, there's wisdom in it. And you need to be aware of that. And you need to wise up and listen. 
Disco Pete's just joined us. Now, Disco Pete is one of the most generous men in the world. And the first thing Disco Pete does is give McClue TikToks on TikTok. Disco Pete, thank you. He sent me five beautiful TikToks. Gerd says muttering. Gerd, I wonder if you're classically projecting yourself if you are a mutterer and you don't say anything sensible to yourself. So you're having a go at McClue because you're beginning to hear common sense for the first time in your life. You're very welcome, buddy. I thank you, Disco Pete. My mate, Big Jimmy. Uh, has dropped his spanner into the sea. Scottish Kev, have you not got a magnet you can lower down? How deep's the sea? You sound great. Like uh, the men I see at the pub on Wednesday nights, best entertainment, top stuff. It's class, Rene. You're obviously a very beautiful person and very discerning. Uh, are you the guy who wants a Maggie Thatcher statue? Uh, says, oh, yes, right, well, good one. Lord McClure, Scotty the Bunnet. Yes, yes, there you are, Gerd. That's him. Ah, we know who you are now. You are a rambler. <laughs> so you're projecting yourself onto Scotty McClure. I get it now. There we go. You're away with the fairies, says La Hoop to him. Absolutely. He's dancing with the fairies at the bottom of Dingley Dell. God bless Margaret Thatcher, says Gerd. We love you, Scotty. Shame you can't come and join us when we usually work in the rigs. Do you know, Scottish Kev, that's still part. At the age of 12, I joined the boats. And in all weathers, they would put, we had a big MFV. And in all weathers, they'd put the bow against the ladder very skillfully. The bow would kiss the ladder, and I would step off and shin up it like a wee monkey with the ropes. And I loved it. I learned never to have fear. I learned to understand all these wonderful things. I learned to take the wheel of a big 65-foot vessel. Tremendous stuff. So I would be fine going out in the tender. Might be a bit ill the first time, you know. I might lose my fish supper. But uh, apart from that, sorry if somebody's having a late plate of wheat bangs. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Uh, now that's the stuff Gerd's telling La Hoop to shush. How dare he? <laughs> Margaret Thatcher in the mud. There we go. Dinky do. Now come on, La Hoop. We don't like that when it comes the other way. So steady, steady, steady. You might not have liked her politics but you didn't know she might have been a very nice lady. You might have enjoyed having a dram with her. She liked a wee dram. That's great to learn that, Scotty. Great to listen to old stories. Oh, fantastic. Wonderful. I'm talking, I could tell you about engines you might never have heard of. Wonderful stuff. And uh, it was just, it was just great. It was, in fact, I sometimes do think, should I have just done it all my life? You know, but I know how hard it is to get up every morning and think it's very wild winter's day. I'm now going to have to take a boat with passengers across the sea. You know, so there we go. Fantastic. Although, have you seen, you'll have seen it out in the North Sea. The modern boats, the controls, you just click little switches, don't you, and little joysticks. Wonderful way to be. We had the big wheel. Yes, and the great big engine controls. There we go. A Maggie Thatcher statue wouldn't last 10 seconds in Dublin. The one of the ground, I don't know. I think you're underestimating the understanding of Dubliners. I think if they wanted a Maggie Thatcher statue, then we put it up and see. You know? Absolutely. I could talk to you all day, Scotty. I think we're on the same level. Scottish Kev, of course we are. You see, I'm very good at taking your instructions. So if you said... Right, Scotty, she's going to rise up. When I shout, go, you go. Say, no bother, Scottish Kev, I'm on it. And then, woo! Yeah, and then, and if I dropped into the sea, I'd know that you would have my rope and you would see my orange jacket and we'd get you out of there. You'd get me out of there at some point. Whoa, fantastic. And then I've always got my whistle. <laughs> That's him told, Scotty. 
Yeah, you tell him, absolutely, I hope you tell him. But don't be too hard on Margaret Thatcher, the woman, because she did have a very difficult job to do. But I agree with you, I'm not sure how a statue of, or a big statue of Margaret Thatcher would fare in O'Connell Street. You know, it's a thought in Dublin. So there we are. We'd have to have a discussion about it. There we go. Fantastic. I think you'd rather have a statue of Scotty McClue. Uh, I'd have your back any day, mate. Look after yourself. Big and on the chat later. Scottish Kev, you get on with that. Take care of your dear self. And may the force be with you. I say to you, may God be with you, my boy. Lovely, lovely stuff. Now, um, we've got everything on the go here. Fraser's just joined us. Let's see who's chatting. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I get my cards from the Beetson and York Hill Children's Hospital, says Suzanne. Suzanne had cancer and she fought it. Scotty, now the socials dropped 80 pounds odds a month and gas prices rising. How will the single mothers cope? Well, I think what's going to happen, Dumpty Heed, they're going to end up putting the gas off. So if gas prices are rising, you say, that's going to be 200 quid dearer. You say, right, we'll just switch it off. But we need our woolly jumpers. Now, at the moment, we're burning wool and we're using it to landfill, sending it to landfill. Let's get all the people in the country knitting. Yes. When did you last see your wife knitting you something? And we all get a woolly jumper, a pair of woolly socks, Wool trousers, maybe even woolen underpants. I'm sure they would boil up. And um, woolen tops, big thick iron jumpers knitted with love. Maybe put a wee heart in the front. A cable of hearts if you if you love somebody. Yes, somebody once did that to me and I wore it for years until a thief broke a car window and took it. And when I said to her, they've taken my lovely jumper, she said, well, I hope they get the benefit of it. There we are. Good morning. I'm having a wee outdoor cup of tea whilst walking wee Oliver in the Botanic Gardens. Gordon Robertson, you're a top man. Love to the Botanic Gardens. I did tell you the story of the plant house. It used to be a conservatory, a big house out in, I think it was Roseneath. There you are, you see. Jack of all trades are Scotty. Oh, yeah. Uh, what have we got here? I do sometimes wonder if I should have stayed in the boats, but then we wouldn't have had the phone in, you see. Scotty, there's so much light coming through that windy. Are your windies mock it again? My windies are never mock it and never have been. They're absolutely clean clarity. Are you still taking calls? Yes, Daryl. Phone up if you want. Of course we're taking calls. Talk to you tonight. Yes, it's a week later. I'm going to finish my Christmas card now. Okay. Can I call in just now? Of course you can, Daryl. I'll just check the lines are open. There you go. Call in, Daryl. And we will chit-chat. Be lovely to hear from you. My grandmother's a fantastic knitter. God bless her, so I'd be okay, Scotty. La Hoop, yes, get grandma onto that. Come on, Nana. The vegans wouldn't be happy with your wool plan. Well, I'm sorry. The vegans don't control the world. You're live on Scottish phone, ain't Who's that? It's Daryl. Daryl, how lovely to hear you. Thank you for calling. Do you respond? I give you a wee call and say hello and hope you're keeping well. What a lovely idea. Can you speak into your mic, Daryl? We're missing you a wee bit. Yes, can you hear me now? Sir? Oh, that's a thousand times better. Now. Well, I, enjoy, I enjoy watching you on Facebook and I think you're somewhere else. Yeah, well, 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 a bit of fun, Darlin. That's very kind of you. And it's so lovely that you've chosen to phone because the first one's always a wee bit of a chore. Yes, it is. And then I once... Like the go I like on. The on your heart. Yes, and now that you're on, Daryl, this can be the first of many, many calls. Yes, um, I actually do a bit of radio myself. Good, I'm very pleased to online, hear it. Online radio. I love it, Daryl. Anything at all, anything that's communication. Yes, and it's very good because before people like just listening to music, but it's 
different atmosphere on the radio, talking to people and listening to people. Oh, it's I fantastic. It's every every radio station should have a talk show. Definitely, because it's very good to talk to people and listen in because there's too much people on the phone these days doing the Facebook carry-on and whatever. Yeah, and they're typing away when they could actually be talking. Yes. I mean, the, the potential for what Scotty McClue is doing right now is massive. Yes, it is. Absolutely massive. And listen, I wish you all the best with this radio show. This sounds great. Yes, I wish you all the best. Thank you for taking my call. Lovely to have you on, Daryl, and we'll speak again soon. And di dinky do. Bye-bye, my boy. Bye. That's great. See you, Daryl. There were what a top man Daryl said could have phoned in, and he phoned in. And I know it takes a wee bit of courage for the first call. Just do it. There we are. As an American, is it safe to say Margaret Thatcher was a polarizing leader amongst her people? She was polarizing amongst her cabinet, my dear American friend. A walk with nature, my fellow American, Mr. Goatface has very kindly sent me five beautiful TikToks. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. We love you. You're so kind, guys. This all goes to help with the next step with the phone-in. It's brilliant. Fantastic. We wipe down here. Woo! There we go. Fantastic stuff. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, um, here, what we got here? Good chat going on here, guys. Um, oh, this is good stuff. So Gordon Robertson's got a thing about Mocket Windies. I don't know if he was brought up with Mocket Windies or with very, very clean Windies, and he's absolutely paranoid that his own Windies ever get Mocket, or a seagull does a big doodah on them, a big doodah doodah day. Scotty, uh, Professor, simple answer, says Dave Deprave, they will not be able to cope. Disgraceful taking away that 80 pounds. The people who get it need it. True. Are you still taking calls to Daryl? Yes, we've done that. Uh, what have we got here? Dave says, Professor, amazing comment. Just have another child. Have another child. Get some more money. It's not just single mothers. It's men also. Women without children. There we go. I get it. Bye for now, Scotty. Have a nice day. You too, Suzanne. What about the single mothers who take the kids to school in their house coats and gym jams? I guess we are there heading back when they get home. So there you are. So he's having a go at the mothers in their jammers. So they've got the wains up and the wains are all beautifully dressed and the mothers are in their gaff coats in their gaff shoes and their gym jams, their jammers. Hello, Scotty. I've just arrived home and you're still on. Kareem, is that not fabulous? We love it. Result, absolutely, Kareem. Give us a call for the hoose. We're on for another few minutes. Uh, thank you for all your lovely TikToks on TikTok. The TikTokers are beautiful. La Hoop says, I love La Hoop in Ireland, talking to a walk with nature in America. <laughs> and saying to him, that's fair to say. Guys, see what we are doing right now. I know it's only relatively small beer. But it's massive, right? It's massive. I can tell you that now. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's Kareem's second oh, call. Kareem's second call, absolutely. You can have as many as you like in the morning. But um, I'm so glad you're home safe. That is lovely. Thank you. Thank yes, you. and Kareem, what do you think of the morning show? I think it's good. You've got different people, um, and like everything else, these things just take time to build up. I think your nighttime show is going extremely well because you've done that was it for five weeks now. Well, I running. think we're into our sixth week. We're something like show forty-four now. Right. I um, think this. In fact, I think this might be show forty-four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll make good. tonight. I can either make tonight show forty-four night, or I can make it. 45. Yeah, 44B. 44B. <laughs> well, remember we stayed on the other night, so we had part one and part two. Yes, yes. Yeah, I remember you that. know, I don't want to confuse the people, but I do think that it's good. 
Um, wow. It's good for every day uh, to have that. But Kareem, maybe you could do me a favour on Facebook. I just okay. set up the Facebook page last night, which at the moment is also entitled Scotty McClue. Uh -huh. So there are actually five Scotty McClue pages, believe it or not. There's the uh -huh. operative page for Facebook that you're on now. Uh -huh. There's the Scotty McClue page that we did up last night which talks about the phone-in. So it looks like a business page, but the phone-in's the business. And then we've got scotty-mcclue.com, we've got Dinky Do, and we've got the World Stop Talk Show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't know if we need all these. They've grown up over the years. Well, if they've, if they've got lots of members and the, the, the ones that are more active, then keep them. Um, I'd, I'd probably say keep all of them if you've got lots of your, your fans from the past on them. Uh, you know, this is how they keep an eye on you. You know, like, how's Scotty doing? Ah, oh, there's his Facebook page or whatever one at the time they joined. Yes. Yes, yeah. just have that. But I'll have a wee look at that new one. Is that another page set up last night, you said? Then? Yes, that's it. And it's just the Scotty McClue page. You know, it's got about 6,000 followers already. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 in business, but we just made sure that it was angled towards the phone in. So I'd love you to have a look at that and see what's what. Yep, I'll have a wee nosy uh, at all of them actually, and I'll get back to you tonight later on. I would I would really appreciate that, uh, as you know, Kareem, because I love your input. No, I, uh, no problem. And you were there at the very start. We're growing this together. You know, oh, absolutely. and Professor Numpty Heed and Suzanne and all these lovely people. I've got a few things for tonight, Scotty. Um, ah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a heads are, up. Are we allowed a preview? <laughs> well, it was the other night when I, when I spoke about education down uh, in England. Yes. Um, and about, I think it was a comment you read out that, I think it was a woman from down there said that, we're not all like Khalil. You can't assume everywhere's like Khalil. Yes, I think she was going, how can Kareem make a comment about English education from a handful of people in Carlisle? Yes, but that's my point. When you look at Carlisle, there are many cities and towns and villages like that. Yes. Up and down England, and that's the problem um, in terms of where no doubt she comes from a nice place, and that's great. But at the end of the day, you've got the opposite side of the coin um, where the problem or a lack of education is getting worse and worse. I don't want to go into it too much. Just no, so no, but it's, but it's, it's worth looking at because obviously Scottish education has always had the reputation of being the leading education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My only thing I would say about Scottish education, I think every parent should say to their children, don't let me hear a report from your teachers that you've had your phone out in the class. Correct. Well, yeah, they, they, I think phones are an issue, but I, I'm, I'm going to be a bit biased. I think teachers can be their own worst nightmare at times because when they're thrown so much technology and expecting the children to know what to do, how to work, uh, the phone is you know, a, a research method as well. It you is. Know, for information. You're quite right, and the phone is a fantastic thing, but you'll never, ever, ever replace a teacher. Correct. No, they're right. I, I just think it's the time and place to have your phones out. Um, and, you know, like sometimes when the kids are finished, I say, like, sit down just last minute or two to keep them occupied. You're allowed because you've worked hard to take the phones out. Now, um, some people might cringe, but I think... It's a reward at the end of the day. You know? There's Cole Brandis saying phones should be banned from school. Um, I think, well, yes and no. You're not going to get... I think I gave the example the other night, Scotty, that back in your day, if you'd done something wrong, your parents thought, what did you do? But nowadays you've got parents, what did the teacher do? And with that kind of mentality you will never get rid of mobile phones because a lot of these parents believe if I want to get in contact with my son or daughter, I'll have their mobile and the, nobody's telling me otherwise. And so the fact that, that that goes on quite a lot. Well, another thing to do might be to say, uh, you know, this is for the future, obviously, but you have an education app on the phone and the teacher puts all the work on the phones and says, write your essay on your phone and send it in at the end of the period. 
Um, there's there's apps now. A lot of the schools have apps where information's all sent out. I mean, there's a lot more ways you can link. There's Shobi, um, and there's a Google Team, uh, no, Google, uh, Teams, Microsoft Teams. There's lots of these things where you can share all that information. And Mark is just uh, getting it right for the kids. But at the end of the day, I, I think back to the point about that person about the phone. You're never going to eradicate phones from from secondary school. I don't think. I don't, you've started a huge discussion now, Karim. You want to see all the comments here? Right. Okay. <laughs> Lovely, and that's you just touching the surface. Yeah, um, I'm, I'll, I'll speak more uh, about it tonight later on in the nighttime call. But yeah, no, it's good people are debating and talking about it. Oh, absolutely. This is what it's all about, Karim. This is what we've missed during the pandemic: a chance absolutely. to talk. Absolutely. Lovely to hear from you, and thank you for your call, and dinky do. I'll check the Facebooks, and I'll speak to you later tonight, Scotty. Thank Fabulous. you. Fabulous. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kareem. There we are. What a top man. Amazing. Gosh, a lot of reaction from you guys. Scottish music instrumental teaching is the envy of the country. It's fantastic and free. A guy called Big Josh is telling us he's an old man. Well, we allow old people on here. We're not ageist at all. Uh, yes, I agree. They should be, says Lahoub. I don't think they should, says Vodka. When I was at school, I was told I'd never have a calculator on me. Well, I do on my phone. Absolutely, Callum. Schools should have jamming equipment. We coped without them and received a full education. The phone is too much of a distraction, says Rene. And for poorer students who can't afford a newer one or one at all. Ban the phones, simple as, says Lahoub, or oh, at all they'd be left out. How do we get you back on radio in Scotland? Ah, Tom, I think we need to speak to the Scottish government and say that we demand a proper talk show, especially if the school's from a poorer area and they can't provide phones. Good one, Rene, we love it. That is phenomenal chat from all you lovely, lovely people. Thank you, TikTokers. Now then, more comments from you lot. Who cares what they wear? How would you like them to dress at the school gates? Your opinion. Suit and tie? Silly comments, says Dave Deprave. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello? 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 Are you speaking? No, you're not speaking. Okay, fair enough. We understand. You're in a wee cream puff. Uh, to the telephones as quickly as possible. We're tight for time, but we can always squeeze in a small one, as the Mrs. Nevertas of telling me. Uh, so there we go. Maria Knight has joined us. How fantastic is that? Lovely to have you with us. Uh, now then, is it right if they don't dress properly at the school gates? We didn't have that when I was growing up. I think there's no shame nowadays says Professor Nupteed. The wonderful D. Gourley says, good morning. D. Gourley, I can't thank you enough for your kindness. D. Gourley, guys, has sent Scotty McClure a massive, massive amount of money to help with the next step on the phone-in. And a lovely, lovely message saying, we've had Scotty with us for 25 years. He always makes us smile. Let's give him a little bit back. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, D. And um, there we go. D says, I take all phones as pupils come into class and give them back, leaving the classroom. That would be a good idea. Put your phones in the phone box. Yes. Can I phone you, Martin? Of course you can. Lol, Scotty, I'm blushing, says Suzanne. Suzanne, don't you ever need to blush. You have nothing to ever be ashamed of. You're outstanding. Wonderful lady. You blush away there. Yes, indeed. Whew. <laughs> All that stuff. Wonderful. Now, we've just got a few minutes left, guys, and then we'll have to push off. Right. Who's this calling McClue? You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Martin, Scotty. How are you? Martin. Martin. Lovely to hear from you. Dinky-doo. Dinky-dinky-doo. How are you? I'm fantastic. This is great. Hi. <laughs> What's happening? Nothing new. How did you find out about the morning phone in, Martin? Um, I've um, just found out during your um, tech, your um, tech, your, your um, 
You're, you, you, you are TikTok, thanks. Ah, the TikTok, fantastic. Lovely to have you with us on TikTok. And there's lots of great videos for you on there. Yes, I know. Never a dull moment. Yes. Martin, that's great that you phoned up because the first call is always the toughest. Yes. Now you can phone any time because we've chatted, we've been on. Yes, that's very good. I like that. That is excellent. And thank you do. And are you keeping okay? Yes, 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 I'm keeping okay. Good stuff, good stuff, excellent. Well, you've got the number now, and you know we're live on YouTube, and yes. we're live on a Twitch. Yes. I don't know if you do Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, the YouTube channel. Yes, I, um, I need to install that. Yes, and the YouTube channel, subscribe and tap the bell, and they'll send you a wee notification when the phone is starting. Yes. Excellent. That's what we like. Good. How's um how is how um how is your day been good? My day is absolutely beautiful because I'm talking to these beautiful people around the world. Yes. You can't say fairer than that, Martin, unless you can't pronounce F's or T H's. Yes. <laughs> fairer than that. Now I'm gonna press on and I'll let you go and you give me a call back sometime. Okay, well, Scotty. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Dinky-doo. There we are. That's our Martin. That was lovely. Afternoon, Scotty. When do the schools go back? First day of the holidays. Archie's being a pain. There we are. Stuarty. Fantastic. This nasty Gerd hang up on him. Yes, I'm going off you a bit, Gerd. Uh, if, uh, if especially... Oh, yes, we got that one. Scotty, have you ever considered writing a book about your life? I've been asked to by one or two people, but I'd like to choose the author if it's an autobiog. I didn't think I was interesting enough, but apparently I am. So we shall see about that. A book on Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, In and Out of the Box. <laughs> Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Right, we're going to have to push off. It's been an absolute privilege being with you all today. Thank you so much. I'll sing you the goodbye song if you like. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's been a privilege. Scotty Dinky Doo. Yes, a book about you. Thank you, dear Gurley. You are so very kind to me. There's a Scotty McClue saying, Have a gorgeous day. Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Stay fabulous. And as we say in the best of circles, Dinky Doo.